Hello everyone, this is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. Friday night college basketball action. Going to head to the Missouri Valley Conference. The Creighton Blue Jays versus the Missouri State Bears at the JQH Arena in Springfield, Missouri. Not very surprising that the Creighton Blue Jays has opened up, have opened up as a road favorite, but I'm a little bit surprised at the number that was sent out. Creighton laying 14 points has dropped down a bit to 13 and a half in some spots, but basically between that range of 13 and a half and 14. Currently there is no total in the betting market. I would look to possibly play the under here and uh, I'm going to give out some reasons why, but due to the fact that there is no total in the market, we're going to definitely focus on straight bet, uh, straight bet wagering. When you look at the visitor, the Creighton Blue Jays are aiming for their 10th straight victory. Out of the last nine wins, they've won eight of those by double digits, so they're definitely rolling right now. They're doing all the things right, especially on the offensive end. Their last victory, a 91-61 triumph over the Drake Bulldogs as 16 and a half point home favorites. They lead the nation in three-point shooting, and they also average 9.9 .9 makes per game from beyond the arc. So when you're handicapping this game, they're perimeter oriented and they definitely stroke the three from beyond the arc. All of that is run through their uh, forward Doug McDermott. He's the leading scorer on the squad. He's also the nation's leading returner, returning scorer from a year ago. And he is averaging 22.6 points per game. And the big reason why Creighton leads the entire nation in three-point shooting, he is shooting an absurd 49.3% from beyond the arc. This team has some depth, something to keep in your mind as you continue handicapping the Missouri Valley Conference throughout the 2012-13 season, as this team has depth with seven players averaging 5.6 points or more per game, but one hindrance in this series, uh, specifically when you're looking at the numbers in this game, the Creighton Blue Jays are 8-18 eight and 18 all time when visiting Missouri State. When looking at the host, they are playing with great confidence right now. They have won three of four games in Missouri Valley Conference play, and they've covered all four of those. And when you look at the team's early past performances, you kind of need to move, move those and push them to the side a little bit because they began the year as the seventh youngest team in the nation, and that is in terms of experience, not necessarily freshman, sophomore, junior, and so on, but the fact of how much court time each player on the roster had coming into the season. So seventh youngest team in the nation coming in. Key statistic for Missouri State when going against the likes of Creighton or other teams that shoot the three-point shot with uh, great regularity is they are 18th nationally in three-point field goal percentage defense, limiting foes to 30.1% from beyond the arc. And no team in their entire schedule this year so far has made eight or more three-point uh, three shots. So that's important when you look at Creighton, as I mentioned, 9.9 .9 makes on average per game this year. Anthony Downing, he is really the key player other than McDermott, of course, for Creighton, but Anthony Downing, senior guard, averaged 20 points per game in this series in two meetings with Creighton last year, and he's really elevated his play in Missouri Valley Conference. 20.3 points per game, 4.8 rebounds, 4.8 assists, and averaging two steals through those four games since they've pushed aside non-conference play. There's a lot to like on both sides, especially for Creighton. Uh, they're shooting. They could make this out of hand real quick, but I think the defense of Missouri State will be just enough, especially in uh, guarding the perimeter, to keep this game within that 13 and a half, 14 range. I'm expecting maybe an 11, 12 point victory by Creighton. Uh, if it's close down the stretch, Creighton definitely has a major advantage. They are much better from the free throw line than Missouri State. But if we're close, then I think we'll stay within the 14 points. My pick on this game, the Missouri State Bears plus 14. This has been Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. For any further information on this game, especially the total once it's released in the market, you can follow me at Jeff Grant Sports.